happy viewers. My name is Ian Harwinda, a grade 6 teacher at Fountain School in Kasama of Northern Province of Zambia. Today in English, we will still look at the adverbs. Now, for us to understand something yet again, we need to understand what we looked at the previous uh, moment when we were looking at adverbs. So last time we looked at adverbs of place. We looked at adverbs of place. Adverbs of place. And we defined or we described how adverbs of place are. We say adverbs of place are words that tell us um, that tell us where something is done. These are words that tell us where something is done. We said adverbs of place, they answer the question where. We said adverbs of place answer the question where was an action done. We looked at you know, a good number of examples of adverbs of place. This is where we said we have such words like far, okay? This way far is telling us where something is done. We also looked at words like uh, near, also looked at words like um, uh, everywhere, everywhere. We also looked at words like um, up, okay? We also looked at words like elsewhere, elsewhere. So we looked at a good number of the adverbs of place. Just to remind you of something, we said adverbs of place tell us where an action, which is a verb, is done. We said these words, the adverbs of place, answer the question where. Maybe you want to know where something was done. So, these are some of the things that we looked at the previous day. Now today, under the same topic adverbs, we'll look at adverbs, adverbs of manner. So today now, we'll look at adverbs of manner. We need to understand what adverbs of manner so, what are adverbs of manner? Adverbs of manner are words that tell us how an action is done. Remember, last time for adverbs of place, we said these are words that tell us where. Now, for, adver for adverb adverbs of manner, they tell us how an action, which is a verb, is done. So, write something. So, we are saying... These are words, these are words that tell us, tell us how, tell us how an action, an action which is a verb is done. Adverbs of manner are words that tell us how an action is done. These adverbs of manner, they answer, they answer, they answer the question, they answer, they answer the question, how, okay? So, in as much as we are talking about adverbs of manner today, we will be just building on what we were looking at the other time was for us to understand where something because we say a verb is an action word. It tells us, you know, how something is done. So, we will look at now examples of words that help us, okay? The words that tell us how something is done. So, we have now examples of words. Examples, examples of the adverbs of manner. Now, before we look at the adverbs of manner, it has reminded me of something. 
These adverbs of manner, for us to differentiate them from different ways, these adverbs of manner, most of them, they end with the letters L, Y. You should take note of that. These adverbs of manner, so we say now, most of, most of the adverbs, most of the adverbs of manner, of manner, most adverbs of manner end with the letters L, Y. Okay, so at the end of the word, we are going to look at you know, those examples. At the end of the word, okay, we will be identifying something to say some words will be ending with L, Y. the 
terms of manner. So some of them have written them on the board. We have the word quietly. We have deeply. We have loudly. Immediately. We have happily. Suddenly. Generously. We have slowly. We have sadly. And we have courageously. So all these words are called adverbs of manner. We say adverbs of manner, they end with L-Y. What are, uh, maybe, maybe somebody may ask the person, do all the adverbs of manner end with L-Y? We say no. Some of them, they do not end with L-Y. And a good number of them, we have hard, well, and fast. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is, now, who can try to maybe construct a sentence, you know, trying to involve, you know, a word which is called an adverb of manner. So, here I'm going to give you one example of a sentence where I'm going to use one example of an adverb of manner. We can say, the teacher fell down rather awkwardly. The teacher fell down rather awkwardly. So I'm going to write um, a sentence here so that in my sentence I include the word which is an adverb of manner. The sentence goes like the teacher, the teacher fell down, fell down rather. Manner. So, not all adverbs of manner, just like we say, they end in 
L-Y. We have the examples. We have well, hard, and fast. So we have examples of adverbs of manner. Number one, deeply, generously. We have loudly. We have well, suddenly, hard, just like the word hard and well. They do not end with L-Y. But they are also called adverbs of manner. So we have also immediately, we have happily, we have fast, quietly, sadly, and courageously. So we, now we have sentences that can also help us to say these same adverbs of manner can be now be put in sentences. We have the teacher fell down rather awkwardly. The teacher fell down rather awkwardly. And we said the word awkwardly is an adverb of manner because it is telling us how the teacher fell down. It is telling us, it's describing us, it is describing how the teacher did what? Fell down. Then the other sentence is the pupils listened attentively to the teacher. The pupils listened attentively to the teacher. The word attentively is describing how the pupils listened where? To the teacher. So these are some of the activities or the things that I prepared for you in or under adverbs of manner. Now at this point in time I will write you know, questions and I want you to answer them correctly where you'll be told what to do. Right. So this is the exercise for you. Remember, you should always, you know, try to write in a very good handwriting and, you know, by all means, avoiding to cancel, okay? Because it makes your work dirty. So, the instruction says, underline the adverbs of manner in each of the following sentences. You underline, when you read the sentence, you should identify you should identify the adverb of manner. When you identify the adverb of manner, you now get your ruler and underline it. Don't underline the whole sentence, but just underline the adverb of manner in that sentence that you just read. So the first sentence says, the road to the village was totally destroyed during the rains. The road to the village was totally destroyed during the rains. Question two, or the sentence number two, Peter dived into the river quickly. Peter dived into the river quickly. The third sentence says, that player dribbles the ball well. That player dribbles the ball well. Then sentence number four says, the building was completely ruined. The building was completely Ruined. Then number five, the last sentence says, the school choir sang melodiously during the music festival. The school choir sang melodiously during the music festival. So please, I urge you, I'm urging you to say, as you begin writing these questions, please, you know, take your heart and don't rush. Make sure what you're writing should be correct. So, this is where we've come to the end of the lesson for today where we were looking at adverbs of manner in English. Until next time, because you have been with me, Mr. Harlan in the ear, a grade, six, a grade 6 teacher at Fountain School in Northern Province of Zambia. Until next time, bye.